hello there Gemini welcome to your weekly tarot card prediction this reading covers August 19th to August 25th of 2018 this is a general reading more extensive readings can be booked by sending me a question through email or just link up with one of the links in the box below your every comment earns you an entry to win a free reading hit that notification bell so you'll know for when you win Remember to check out your past video predictions. They will resonate more clearly then when the week has arrived. Okay, Gemini, I have blessed, shuffled, and meditated over this card reading just for you. Your first card, it's the general atmosphere of that week. It's the basis of the matter. It's the background of the question. Number five of the major arcana in the Rider Waite deck, the Hierophant. Number five, the Hierophant. That's living by a higher code. It's spiritual truths and love through helpful doctrines. This is a zodiac card of Taurus. This also stands for marriage and alliance. It's a religious or spiritual urge. Gemini, haven't you been getting that marriage card in the past few weeks I'm noticing? You're going to be focusing on moral or ethical matters, maybe ministering or teaching or learning something. You could be making a vow or making a new contract, receiving a blessing. Just act with integrity. Integrity, it is its own reward. <clears throat> your second card, it's the energy crossing over your path, the immediate future. It's occurring now. Number two of the Rider Waite deck in the Major Arcana. Number two, the High Priestess. Uh, you, you've got four Major Arcanas for this week. That's four major things. And this is secret knowledge. It's something hidden, preparing to come forth. So pay attention to your dreams and hunches and your intuition. It's time to sit still. Someone may be attempting to hide something that should be revealed. There is a strong, wise female presence around you. Or you need to turn, tune into your inner voice and your spiritual awareness. There are hidden influences around. There is a divine truth. And someone around you may be psychic. Your third card, and this is how it affects you. The star, great hope, and great love. Number 17 of the Major Arcana in the Rider Waite deck. The star, number 17, and that is hope. And after turmoil, it's a brighter future. You're going to be more devoted. This is an unfolding love. There's going to be support from others. And this is telling of good fortune to come. There's going to be some kind of unselfish aid and good health. There's unexpected spiritual gifts that are alighting your way. There's help from unseen forces. So have faith that your dreams will come true and your goals are attainable. And you're going to feel peaceful and full of optimism. And this is a zodiac card of Aquarius. Your fourth card, it's the future, the outcome, the results, and the advice how to respond. Number 15 of the major arcana, the devil. Number 15, the devil. You're feeling some bondage and restriction. This is fear and temptation. It could be material things are keeping you chained. This is a zodiac card of Capricorn. You may be struggling with or denying addiction. It would be to physical objects or possessions, or maybe even unfulfilled desires. You might be even overindulging. But these are chains that you've put on yourself. There's going to be primal feelings and desire. Could be obsession. It may be even an illness or depression. Your fifth card, it's the bottom of the deck card, the underlying issue. It's what's unseen. The Knight of Swords, 
The Knight of Swords is bringing in air energy. Could be an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra, or the energy that they bring. <clears throat> this could be a person that's overly aggressive or argumentative. They may be bringing you a message of bad news or some kind of mental conflict, maybe even some differences of opinion. You're to use diplomacy and be honest. Again, this over-eagerness, it can create problems. Just go with the flow. This person may be idealistic and competitive, maybe even fighting for a cause. They could be trying to win an argument, maybe driving too fast. There could be some rapid fire communications and you're to listen before you charge in. Thank you so much, Gemini. I love all your comments and your validations and subscribes. Thank you so much. Now remember, what goes around comes around, so keep it positive, love and light. Bless you.